Hello everyone, I hope everyone having a very good day. Jahan Traveler is here. Today again I'm back in Chetam Hill in Manchester. I'm so excited because I'm going to eat uh, some unique food. I'm going to do walking to around the Chetam Hill and then after this we are going to try seriously some delicious and authentic food as you can see here it's a shawarma and the kebabs uh, around the Chitam Hill in Manchester seriously there is a lot of uh, nice and unique uh, food you can eat in here most of them Middle Eastern food and the kebabs and the second one in here you can see again shawarma and then again shawarma it's overloaded uh, shawarma shop in here seriously and this one again is a chicken and i can show you uh, it is a lot of shawarma shop in here and in here again shawarma and in here again shawarma and this one maybe will be shawarma as well and uh, on another side as well you can see on that side I think it's two more shawarma shop over there. It's a lot of a uh, shawarma shop in here. Uh, Cheetham Hall in Manchester, seriously, it's a uh, it's safe place and it's a multicultural. A lot of uh, people coming in here with family, without family. You can come here, do some walking, and enjoy some food. And in here we have a I think a fried chicken. A long ago, I think so two, three years ago, I tried the um, uh, Pakistani food in here. I forgot to mention it. If you haven't checked that video, go and check in our channel. We tried the um, Arabic food, Araki food on that corner. Seriously, food was amazing. We really enjoy it. We have a, it's a sweet shop. And uh, over there again we have uh, two more uh, I think the shawarma shop as well oh yeah this one is again it's a brand new shop again it's the kebabs and the shawarma and uh, if you can see if you are fancy with open buffet Pakistani open buffet there is uh, I think so one or two open buffet it's a new shop they open it a new and this restaurant we are going, it's a unique food. Uh, I haven't um, tried yet food in this restaurant. Now I can tell you guys where we are going. We are going to try uh, authentic Iranian food. We are going in a restaurant they call Barbecue Village. Seriously, I've been told to come here to try this food because it, they have a unique food. They have a authentic and delicious and so fresh kebabs mostly they serve kebabs and again if you want to see again there is a shawarma and there is a shawarma a lot of shawarma shop in here let's go and try some authentic and delicious Iranian food It's a grill over there, full of kebab. Seriously, amazing food. I can show you guys. The grill, it's a charcoal grill. Look at the smoky grill. And the charcoal and the, all the kebabs going out. We have a, I think it's a chicken kebab, chicken kebab. And the over grill, we have a, some kubi there, grilled tomato. And then in here we have uh, uh, some salad and then fresh bread. And they are allowing us to go inside the kitchen and um, uh, watch while they are grilling kebabs. 
seriously smell amazing in here and he's just preparing these two dishes look at this one we have a chicken zaffron rice and then white rice again the same and look at this kebab seriously He's going to tell us about his famous Kubi de Kebab. Kubi de Kebab, it's so famous in India and it's a popular kebab. Everyone knows this and he's going to tell us how he makes his famous Kubi de Kebab. And then I'm going to order three or four nice and unique kebab. I think maybe some of you don't know this kebab or haven't tried it yet. Montas and it's so popular and so rich and so unique it uh, goes with the mixture of the kebabs and then definitely go with the grilled tomato yellow rice which we call zaffron rice and then plain uh, white rice and you can see the size of the kubi the seriously is so huge nice with the charcoal grill And in here we have a salad as well. Look at this all fresh salad and look at this tomato. It's so again popular in Iran. When you have a kebabs, all type of the kebabs, then you need to have a grilled tomato. It's come with the kebab. It's included. You know, when you pay for the kebabs, it's come with the side salad and grilled tomato all included. And now my friend, He's going to tell us about uh, his famous and popular uh, kubide. Hello, my friend. How are you? Okay. What do you do? We do kubide, traditional kubide. Oh, Iranian kubide, yeah? Yes. This is home with the lamb mince. This is baby lamb ribs. And we mix with the onion and some herbs. And we mix it with the machine and we do kubide fresh here for the people. Why do you use the water? Uh, because of Kubi, they need some hot water to stick with the sea. And this is fresh Kubi that we do. Uh, we need uh, water, hot water to do good Kubi there. So this is come with the onion, uh, lamb, lamb mince, and uh, some herbs, chili. We do fresh every day. How you can make it? How you can make it? All the size is the same. Seriously, it's amazing. Thank you very much. You are welcome. I just, because I had it experience long time, that's why I do. This is my job every day. I do same job, so that's why I do same same size. It's yeah. so easy and the, the main ingredient is the, just, the, he said, the baby lamb and then onion. That's it. That's why it's so popular. And uh, look at the, all the sizes. It's so equal, seriously. He has a lot of experience. He uses hot water. And then lamb means, look at this. He's focusing, watching carefully, seriously. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Cheers. And then again, we have a, a fresh non bread. That's my favorite. And uh, he's again going to show us if you are coming in Iranian restaurant, you need a nice and crunchy and sometimes a pillowy Iranian bread. It's come with the kebabs because kebabs is come with the bread or with nice and rich Iranian rice. Well, I am sweating, seriously. 
inside this restaurant or inside the kitchen. Seriously, so hot and so friendly people. I was speaking with the manager and chefs, all of them so friendly, so nice. And now we are going to look at the menu and then we are going to our order. And wow, I forgot to show you guys all these kebabs. Look at this one, full of kebabs and this variety of kebab. And the, the menu they have in here, look at this one. All authentic Iranian grill. We have a lot of nice food in here. For example, we have a, they call a special village and then all lamb kebab, all chicken kebab and kubi there. There is a lot of, a variety of the Iranian authentic kebab and which is the, again grill with the charcoal. That should be so yummy. It's one of the best um, and the nicest restaurant in Chitam Hill in Manchester. It's amazing atmosphere in here. So friendly people in here. Today I am going to try uh, three dishes. Uh, maybe some of you have tried uh, these uh, uh, kebabs. Uh, one of them is uh, a lamb liver. I think maybe some of you tried it, but uh, a long time I haven't tried it. And uh, then I'm going to try the kebab torch. It's so unique uh, kebabs, flavor and texture. Seriously, it's so unique. Ours is the lamb because uh, we have a kebab torch with lamb or beef. In here they have a lamb one, again, uh, lamb, baby lamb. Uh, baby lamb meat marinated inside the mixture of the walnut and the pomegranate and molasses with some more spice. Seriously, this dish is so unique because it has a unique flavor and a unique texture. Our second dish, they call a sultani. This is the one of the oldest dish in Iran. This dish, again, it's a lamb. Uh, the sultani, it's come with a mixture of the kubide and then Another, uh, they call a kebab barg, which is, they used 5,000 years ago. Seriously, again, it's so unique. It's a lamb fillet. And then it's come with the rice again, or you can have with the bread. Now we are going to have a rice and the bread, both of them. I'm so excited. Let's try some delicious food. We got uh, our food absolutely top level. Food in here is so nice and yummy. We have um, a bit fresh bread and fresh saffron rice and plain rice. We have in here, uh, we have a, they call a kebab torch. It's again one of the oldest dish in Iran. And then in here, we have a, a sultani. It's again, uh, 5,000 years ago, they were eating this kebab. And uh, we have uh, this one they call a kebab bark, which is the lamb fillet, and then they flat it, and then they use it as some onion juice, and then after season it and uh, charcoal grill it, that's a top level. And in here we have a kebab kubide, again, lamins, grounded uh, lamb beans. again grounded uh, onion and then grill it with charcoal and in here again we have a, a lamb liver mixture of the heart and uh, lamb liver with the side salad in here we have a, a grilled tomato with all of them uh, just except the lamb liver portion seriously it's so huge and um, the kebab torch is so unique it has a unique uh, texture 
and the unique flavor because there is a pomegranate molasses, there is a walnut, a mixture of the walnut, and there is a, some a spice, a black pepper, and uh, some special uh, spice they use for this uh, uh, kebab torch. And it's usually, it's come with the butter, and you just leave the butter beside the rice to a little bit heat it up and uh, melt it, and then you can use it for the, this rice. Just uh, gently put top of this rice and look at the kebabs. Seriously, so juicy and smell aroma. It's amazing. Mm. I love the pomegranate molasses. Seriously, nice flavor. Tender lamb. It's a beautiful it's a combination of the flavor. I go one more time. They marinated the lamb inside the, this pomegranate, the molasses and the mixture of the walnut and the spice. You can see in here, just added all of them on top of this. It's a little bit uh, uh, sour and uh, lamb so unique and so tender. Mm. A little bit sweet as well but the mixture of the flavor it's so unique and now we have to just mix it this saffron rice and then a white rice look at the rice it's fluffy and it's cooked perfect the piece of the, this um, lamb and then try to bring it in some of this sauce it's a little bit sour and yummy and delicious rice is a little bit buttery and nice and fluffy rice seriously <laughs> i love rice and if you love rice you can try this uh, fluffy rice side we have uh, some uh, grilled uh, pepper green pepper this is spicy this uh, green uh, Pepper, seriously, it's so hot and spicy. I was inside the kitchen, I sweated. And then when I ate this again, I got more sweat, seriously. So spicy. This is the combination you want to use when you eat kebab. Just uh, use uh, this juice of the, this grilled tomato. This comes out and then mix it with the kebab. Kebab has a juice and then tomato juice is more and added some more rice. It's one of the best uh, kebab you can have. I can't say anything more seriously because this flavor is unique, texture is unique and the combination of the, everything in this um, dish, seriously, I love it. If you are coming in here, or if you want to try an um, Iranian dish, try this dish. And our uh, second dish, they call Sultani. As I said, it's uh, one of the oldest dish in Iran, or it's one of the oldest dish in Middle East. Ancient time, they were using this kebab, especially the kebab bark. On that time, soldiers were using uh, swords to cook a kebab, and now we just use a skewer to use a kebab i love it and let's try this kebab and you can see this lamb fillet marinated inside the onion juice you can see the texture it's so soft onion juice make this a little bit softer and sometimes they marinate it overnight sometimes they marinate it just a few hours and then ready to cook I just throw this one. It's so tender and grill it very well. Seriously, chef told me he has a, a long time experience and uh, now I can see, seriously, they are experienced chef and so friendly people as well. Another spice, Iranian, they use for kebab. It's so important and you need to use it. They call it somach. It's a spice. And in here we have a somach. 
It's a flavor, it's a bit sour and uh, so unique uh, flavor uh, it has. Uh, seriously, I love it again. Maybe you like it or maybe you don't like it. Just to try it and then to see you like or not. It's a nice color and you can put all over this uh, kubide and then this is they call a kebab bag. Persian grill. It's top level kebabs and uh, it's uh, one of the best uh, kebab in the Middle East. And now I have to put a uh, grilled tomato. Now you can use uh, juice of the tomato for this kebab and then you can use a uh, bread all together. Just to try to take off this bread, yeah. Look at the bread. Nice, fluffy bread. Take a piece of the bread and uh, take uh, this big piece of the kebab and uh, in here. It's so delicious, the tomato juice, lamb, so tender. Now it's come to the kubide. We saw how they prepare this kubide and uh, you can see, seriously, it's so large and so meaty uh, kubide as well because sometimes they give you so thin bath in here, nice, fluffy and uh, spongy outside, a little bit of crispy and texture, it's so unique. I love uh, when it's a little bit juicy because uh, they use a the charcoal and the charcoal is just uh, maybe less than minutes it's cooked uh, this kebab and uh, then we can have a nice and juicy and uh, fluffy kubide and I'm just taking a piece of the, this kubide mm. it just melted in my mouth combination of them onion and lemon seriously it's so delicious juicy and now i have to take a piece of this bread and use a kubide and then tomato you can see its top is a little bit of sumach and take a big piece of this nice fluffy and juicy kubide that's why i said it look at this it's so spongy and inside it's just the juice comes out look at this one this is the my favorite because it's so juicy and then added some of this tomato Tomato a little bit sweet and juicy and the kubide, it's yummy. Grill it very well, so tasty. I had uh, two dishes. One was a kebab torch and one was a sultani, which is come with the one kebab bag, one kebab kubide with the salad and um, fresh bread. Both dish is top level, both dish is cooked fresh, nice, authentic Iranian dish. If you haven't tried yet these two dishes, go and try it. I will guarantee you, you will enjoy it because uh, kebab torch has a unique texture, unique flavor. And then again, kebab sultani has a nice, delicious uh, flavor and texture and uh, now is uh, our final dish which is the lamb liver uh, usually in iran uh, lamb liver they use as a breakfast and uh, but you can have it for the lunch or for the dinner as well it's not a problem it's a use uh, it's a nice food seriously usually it's a fresh and the grill it and ready to go with the side salad look at this lamb liver cooked very good I think they marinated as well, yeah, they marinated. Mm. Mm.
It's so tasty. Just a lamb liver. It's a little bit dry, but nice and uh, again juicy, spongy. You can use a lime to give a little bit sour flavor, and then we use uh, some of this uh, fresh salad. This is the way we use. Nice, crunchy, uh, fresh salad. Just gave it a little bit of refreshing and uh, lamb liver. It's again spongy, soft, and uh, they marinated. The flavor is amazing. And we have a radish. You can try this crunchy radish. Mm. And uh, we had uh, some delicious kebabs in this barbecue village. Seriously, the price I paid the 43 pound for three best kebab. I enjoy it. Three unique kebab. I came here to try it. And seriously, I'm happy to be in here and try a nice and unique Iranian food. Now I am coming to end our video. If you like it, just give me a thumbs up and leave me comments below. Or if you haven't subscribed yet, just subscribe. Then if you want to see our next delicious food review just to press the bell icon if you press the bell icon definitely you will notify our next video i hope see you all in my next video